Alright, here is another amazing revelation that Abaya showed me when I was praying and fasting one day. This is peppercorn. Look closely. Peppercorn. Growing up, we were never told it was called peppercorn. In fact, if you ask anybody, is it a spice or a fruit, they'll almost always say, oh, it's a spice. Well, the word peppercorn, if you look it up, you'll find that is actually a fruit. Peppercorn's a fruit. Now, why would it be hidden from us that peppercorn is a fruit? Oh, I don't know. Could it be that this is the most important fruit on the planet, in a, one of the most important fruits on the planet that reveals our Creator? What do I mean? Well, let's see what we got here. Look at the different colors of the peppercorn. Abaya revealed to me that these are the skin colors of the original 12 tribes of Yisrael, ranging from dark black to pretty dark brown still. So, our Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters are dark skinned people. Revelation. Now, the darkest one in there, that's going to be the color of our. Abba Yah, Yah Hashua's skin, our Savior, our Messiah. He is dark black. Not the white Jesus that you see on all these pictures from Roman Catholic satanic system, but indeed his color is dark black. Now, this is the amazing thing about the Revelation if you thought that wasn't enough. Take one of your peppercorns. Look very closely at it. Look very, very closely at your peppercorn. And what do you see on there? What do you see? What do you see? Look closely. I'm trying to wake you up, that's why I'm yelling. What do you see on that peppercorn? It's a crown of thorns. It's a crown of thorns all over every piece of peppercorn. Our Yahshua, Yah is salvation. That's why Satan would have it already ground up in your kitchen, hidden in plain sight, right next to the pepper, which is this, I mean, right next to the salt which we are supposed to be light and uh, light of the world and salt of the earth. Yahushua is the light of the world. We are supposed to be salt. Look at that crown of thorns, people. There's a crown of thorns right on that peppercorn. How did I know this? Who told me this? Yahuwah, Yah, rather, Yah told me. Nobody else told me this. I didn't get this from some book. I didn't read this in the scriptures, even. I didn't uh, find it on YouTube. This is a supernatural revelation in these end times that Yah has revealed to me to give to you as confirmation that the ministry that Yah has me doing is of Him. And for you to wake up before it's too late. Look at this peppercorn. It's got a crown of thorns on it. And so do all of these. Crown of thorns. Crown of thorns. On all the peppercorn. So now remember, the peppercorn is symbolic of, it's a fruit. It's symbolic of Yah, Shua, our Messiah, our Mashiach. The crown of thorns on every peppercorn. Now, it gets even better. Take one of these peppercorns. Crush it. Because remember, it's got the 12... The original peppercorn on the outside is the 12 tribes of Yisrael, their skin color. But take a peppercorn and crush it. He was 
crushed for us. He was bruised for our iniquities. And now what do you see? Every color on the on Yah's earth plane is represented from the albino all the way to the 12 tribes of Yisrael. So now what you can see is that these colors are of the non-Yahudim, what some would call the Gentiles. So he's come to save everyone, not just the 12 tribes, his chosen people, but everyone. All the way to the, to the, to the albino. Again, where did this revelation come? From Yah himself while I was praying and fasting. Glory to Yah. Glory to Yah. Shalom. Hallelujah. Now, lastly, take one of these peppercorns and do this yourself. Remember that it's got the crown of thorns on it. It's the, the darkest one is the skin color of Yah, Shua. And lastly, go ahead and what you're going to do is eat it. Put it in your mouth and bite it. And when you do, you will find the strength and power of Yah. Because in that little peppercorn, it's so much strength and power, it starts to burn your mouth. But it's actually purifying you. It's cleansing you of your sin. It's symbolic. So glory to Yah. Shalom. Hallelujah.